Hello, certain banter, jokester here, wanting to show you a quick video on KSP. Um, last KSP video I did was very rushed and very shit, and I was terrible then, and now I'm amazing. Here is my Duna Rover, and I just wanted to show you um, how I got this on the surface. Uh, I was really pleased with this. Um, standard Rover with three people in it, which is, which is good, I didn't want to go for a little computer one. Um, and basically, almost a little tutorial, I'm just coming in now well I'll, I'll explain how to do it later this is just my my first actual landing on it and not everything went as smoothly as possible but I still wanted to show it off I'm using basically the sky crane uh, that they did on the actual Mars missions but obviously it's a lot bigger because it has people and if you can see here I'm dropping altitude and my stages aren't right so I'm having to quickly adapt my stages because my engines won't start uh, 3,000 meters above the surface trying to get my engines to start and they finally do so they're going to just slaying it right down um, yeah well it's not quite done yet I don't think it's the smoothest of landings um, it's quite hard to control this because it's, it wasn't very balanced but yeah the idea is you get it as low as you can throttle up the engines and then detach the ship and just coming down now pretty smooth there you go, a little bit, little bit bumpy, but but not too bad. And you see the sky crane just flying away to safety. Uh, just make sure that doesn't land on the rover because that's one of the worst things that's happened, and it does happen quite a lot. And I thought I was pretty much done here. I thought, well, that's me. That's this thing safe. So I'm opening up the panels just because um, I wanted to take it for a little drive. I actually landed another rover. I forgot to put any solar panels on it, which is very clever. But unfortunately for me, I thought. The first thing I do is drive down a hill, and um, it got a little bit more speed than I thought it would um, when I braked. Yeah, and of course I hadn't always saved, so I had to do it again. Um, but it meant I could show more, more or less, what I did. First of all, I got into this orbit uh, where the periaps was below twenty thousand meters, so that that would air brake for me. And then when I brake twenty thousand meters, just start pushing back with the with the engines. I'm using nuclear engines because it's the transition stage. Um, so that gets this nice orbit which most of this is under 20,000 meters just keeping the air brake. It just makes your burn a lot more efficient. And then keep air braking until you either do what I did before which was come in very very low then snap off and use the parachutes. Or I thought I'd try a different approach where I do the suicide burn which is where if, instead of coming totally sideways you completely stop your horizontal velocity and then drop down straight down um, this is less efficient but uh, a bit safer if your craft's a bit unstable like mine was so here you go I, I'm just dropping straight down now so I can control exactly how fast I'm going how fast I want to be when the parachutes open which is again important you don't want it to snap off your sky crane or you don't want your rover to just fall apart so yeah this one's much more controlled coming down I think I actually almost messed this up quite badly because yeah one of the things you got to worry about is uh, landing on the tires too hard because they do pop um, but your kerbals I think they can just get out and repair them but still that's, that's no fun so yeah there you go nice and full throttle well not quite Ugh. bouncy landing and uh, sky cranes off doing lots of little loops I think we we'll go have a look. There you go. Yeah, so that's my my little rover on Duna. Jokes to certain banter. Cheers.